Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your English teacher Ismail Shah is here once again at the front of camera, I mean at the front of you all. And today I wanna post a video is just to teach you the third tense present perfect tense. Today in the short clip, I wanna introduce you all the present perfect tense. Okay? Uh, present perfect tense can be used to talk about an action happened in the past uh, at an unknown time. When an action happened, an action happened at an unknown time in the past. It can also be used to talk about an action happened in the past and continuous in the present. Uh, we really emphasize, we really want to emphasize how long an action has been happening. And finally, this tense can also be used to talk about an action happened in the very, very recent, uh, I mean, your past. I mean, to talk about uh, recent actions. Uh, there's a lot to learn about this tense, but I will try my level best to keep it easy, to teach you in a very, very easy method. Okay? Uh, before watching this clip, if you're new here, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get on the lesson. Let's get on the first usage of the present perfect tense. The first usage is, uh, this tense is used to talk about an action happened in the past at an unknown time. Okay, uh, let's take a look at some examples. The first example is, I have been to America. I have been to America. Uh, I just started this sentence with the subject I. And then I added the helping verb have. It's because with I, you, we, we have to add, I mean, the auxiliary verb have. Subject plus has have, I mean, has or have, plus verb past participle form. Past participle form. Therefore, I added here the past participle form of the verb be, been to America. I have been to America. With I, you, or we, we have to add an auxiliary verb have, not has, have. I have been to America. Uh, the next sentence is, my students have written. My students have written. Uh, I started this sentence with the subject, my students. The pronoun for this subject is they. Okay, they have written. Uh, I added the auxiliary verb have. It's because the subject is they, my students, they, they have. And then I added the uh, past participle form, I mean, of the verb write, written. Okay, my students have written. The next sentence is, uh, I started this sentence with the subject Ahmed. Okay, therefore I added the helping verb, I mean, auxiliary verb has. That's because the pronoun for the, for the noun Ahmed is he. With he, she, and at, we have to add an auxiliary verb has. And then I added the past participle form of the verb go. Ahmed has gone home. I have been to America. My students have written. Ahmed has gone home. This is the first usage of the present perfect tense. The next and the second usage is, this tense is also used to talk about an action happen, I mean started in the past and continuous in the present. This tense is used to talk about actions uh, started in the past and continuous in the present. Uh, let's look at some examples. I have worked there since 2002. I started this sentence with the subject I. Therefore, I added helping verb have. And then I added uh, the past participle form of the verb work, worked. And then uh, I just added since 2002. Okay, since 2002. Uh, you have had a car for, for weeks. I started this sentence with the subject you. Therefore, I added an auxiliary verb have. And then I added the past participle form of the verb have. Uh, and then I added for weeks. Okay, for unspecific time, we have to add the expression for. You have had a car for weeks. We have eaten the meal for 10 months, for 10 minutes. I started this sentence with the subject V, therefore I added the auxiliary verb have, and then I added the past participle form of the verb eat. You have eaten the meal for 10 minutes, for 10 minutes, okay? This is the second usage of the present perfect tense. The next and the third usage of the present perfect tense is, this tense is also used to talk about an action completed in the very recent past. I mean, uh, to talk about recent actions, okay? Uh, let's look some examples. Let's understand this. I mean, the third usage with the help of some examples. I have just been to doctor. I started this sentence with the subject I. Therefore, I added an auxiliary verb have. And then I added the verb, the verb just between the helping verb and the main verb. Okay. I have 
just been to the doctor. The past participle form of the verb be, been. I have just been to the doctor. The next sentence is, she has just seen her, her new baby. I started this sentence with the subject she. Therefore, I added an auxiliary verb has. And then once again, I added the verb just between uh, auxiliary verb and main verb. She has just seen her new baby. Her new baby. Okay. The next sentence is, we have recently visited school. We have recently visited school. I started this sentence with the subject we. Therefore, I added the helping verb have. And then I added the word recently between helping verb and main verb, visited, have. Between these two words, I added uh, recently. Uh, we have recently and then past participle form of the verb visit. We have recently visited school. You can also, I mean, just, you know, put recently at the end of the sentence. We have visited school recently. They have already been to China. I started this sentence with the subject they. Therefore, I added an auxiliary verb have. And then I added, I mean, just, you know, already between helping verb and main verb. They have already been to China. You can also put already at the end of the sentence. They have been uh, to China already. Okay. So this was the third usage of the present perfect tense. These were the three uses. Uh, you must have to learn how to make a negative form of the present perfect tense. Okay. Uh, so, this is the negative form of the present perfect tense. Subject plus has, have plus not. You have to add, I mean, a word not between helping verb and main verb. Okay? Uh, to make it negative. So, uh, just, you know, let's understand this with the help of examples. I have not been to America. I have not been to America. So, I started this sentence with the subject I. And then I added the helping verb have. Okay, and then I added the verb not between helping verb and the main verb to make this sentence negative. So I have not been to America and then I added the past participle form of the verb be. Okay, so don't forget to put here not between helping verb and main verb to make it negative. Uh, I have not been to America. You can also say I haven't been to America. The contraction of two words have not, haven't. I haven't been to America. The next sentence is... It has not rained. I started this sentence with the subject ate. Therefore, I added the auxiliary verb has. And then I added the not and then uh, uh, past participle form of the verb rain. Rained. Okay. Once again, I just, you know, uh, put not between helping verb and the main verb. It has not rained. And uh, finally, she hasn't played soccer. She hasn't played soccer. I started this sentence with the subject she. And then I added the helping verb has. And then not. So I added here the contraction of has not, hasn't. She hasn't. And then the past participle form of the verb play. Played and then sucker. She hasn't played sucker. This was the negative form of the present perfect tense. Okay. Now uh, let's learn how to make an interrogative form of the present perfect tense. How to make an interrogative sentences. Uh, interrogative form. Just you have to, you know, you have to put has or have uh, at the beginning of the sentence. To make a sentence an interrogative. Uh, have you have you seen? Have you seen? So I started this sentence with the helping verb has. Sorry, have. It's because uh, the subject is you. Okay, the subject is you. Therefore, I started this sentence with the helping verb have. And then the past participle form of the verb see, seen. And then I just put here sign of interrogation. So have you seen sign of interrogation? This is an interrogative sentence. Okay, don't for, uh, forget to put here a uh, sign of interrogation. The next sentence is, has she played soccer? Has she played soccer? I just started this sentence with the helping verb has. That's because the subject with us is uh, she. Okay, and then uh, past participle form of the verb play, played and then soccer. Has she played soccer and then sign of interrogation. You have to put just, you know, has or have at the beginning of the sentence and then sign of interrogation at the end of the sentence to make a sentence interrogative. Finally, has it rained? I started this sentence with uh, with an auxiliary verb has. That's because the subject is at with us. And then the past participle form of the verb rain, rained, and then sign of interrogation. Uh, has it rained? So this was an interrogative form of present perfect tense. 
uh, you have you must have to learn how to make negative and interrogative form of the present perfect tense just you have to put here not will between subject and main verb between subject and main verb how have you not seen have you not seen has she not played soccer has she not played soccer and finally has it not rain has it not rain so you have to just put only not between subject and main verb to make it negative and interrogative okay finally you must have to learn how to make wh question i mean sentences of the present perfect tense uh, so you have to add uh, i mean wh words at the beginning of the uh, interrogative form i mean interrogative sentences to make double interrogative to make wh structure sentences uh, wh i mean wh words plus i mean just you know auxiliary verb has or have but it depends upon subject and then finally uh, past participle form of the verb and then sign of interrogation okay let's understand this with the help of examples where have you gone where have you gone i started this sentence with the with the verb where w h word where and then directly auxiliary verb have is because the subject is you it depends upon subject where have you and then finally the past participle form of the verb go gone where have you gone and then sign of interrogation okay the next sentence is what has she eaten or what has she done i started this sentence with the verb what wh word what and then auxiliary verb has and it depends upon subject the subject is she therefore i added has here and then past participle form of the verb do done what uh, what has she done and then sign of interrogation okay so this was the present perfect tense uh in today in today in the short video i just taught you all present perfect tense and i hope you got it so once again at the end of the uh, at the end of the class i have to say uh, wait for forthcoming videos because i have to bring something more interesting wish you all the best uh, have a great day ahead bye